Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about projects which use a photoresistor and active buzzer with Arduino. The idea behind this project is to create simple functional circuit using a photo cell sensor as my main source for input. The biggest challenge with this project is to write the code. And also the project is strong for and easy to create at home. In this project, we are going to use various type of sensor. We are going to talk about active buzzer, Arduino Uno, wires, photoresistor, resistor, so let's talk about the main component for this project. In this project, the main components are the buzzer and the, the photoresistor. What are the buzzer and photoresistor in the first? So the buzzer is an audio signaling device, which may be mechanical or electromechanical or piezoelectrical device. Typical uses of buzzers and beepers include alarm devices, timers, train and confirmation of user input, such as a mouse click or case. Also, the photoresistor is a passive component that creates resistance with respect to receiving luminosity on the component sensitivity surface. A photoresistance, if you want, is a device, is a sensor which measures the radiation and the illumination received in a specific surface. So let's go to the project. So this project will be handled using Tinkercad online simulator. So in this project, we have the buzzer. We have also the, the photoresistor. The diagram may look complex, but once you gather all the components together, it's actually easy to follow. You can choose to start as you like, carefully placing the parts in the board. I recommend you if you want to start from bottom to up, starting with the photoresistor, then the resistor, and finally with the with the buzzer. The photoresistance is the input in this project, which is connected with, with the analog input. We have also a resistor of about 4.7 kilo ohm. And also the buzzer is used as an output, a digital output using the PWM function. Let's switch actually to, to the code. For the code for this project, we are working with two main functions in the Arduino project. The first one is void setup, and the second one is void loop. But firstly, we are indicated just a variable of int type, which is equal to zero in the first. In the void stop function, we have pin mod E0 as input, the analog input E0. Also, the pin number nine as output is like numerical output. 
And for this comment, surreal point begin is like the protocol to communicate between laptop and Arduino. In the second function of our loop, we started by reading the analog read A0. The A0 is the pin connected to the photoresistor. So we start by reading with this command analog read A0. Then we print the value of the sensor reading in the serial monitor. Okay. And this are a specific command which is in relation with the buzzer sensor. So in this command, we have ton and we have three argument. The first one is the pin connected with the buzzer. In this project, the pin connected is the pin number nine. Where is the value of the produced audio with the buzzer? The type and the intensity of the audio produced by the buzzer depending on this value. And also this value depending on the reading of A0. And also A0 depending of the luminosity received by this photoresistor. And finally, the third argument is the frequency of the produced audio. And finally, here is like a delay to little bit improve the simulation performance. So, finally, the first command is to read the A0, which is connected with the photosensor, with the photocells, and also to use this command to, to modify the audio produced by the buzzer. Let's start the simulation to see how this buzzer will, will function. To start the simulation, just, just click on the start simulation. Here is the code, like 